What is shaking? We got another video, hurricane edition. Come on, get stuck. Getting stuck, getting stuck. So a hurricane passed by last night. The Gulf took the heat of the hit. Uh, we just got some winds. I know we got like sustained 40 to 50 mile an hour with gusts up to like mid 60s, maybe even a little more. But this is where we're coming through now. We're on our way to the beach. And the storm's still here. I mean, it's a little bit north of us, but the winds, because of where we are, we're under the storm. So the winds are offshore, uh, which means the ocean will be somewhat calm. There'll be some waves. The wind's still kicking about 30, 35 miles an hour, but the ocean will be blown a little flat. You can see it's all nice and glassy. We got Texas Dave here. And we're going to walk the beach a little bit, see if we can find some bait. Oh my gosh, look at those waves. Oh, there's a big bait pod right there. More bait over there. We'll see what's blowing up. We're throwing a couple different baits today. We'll look for anything that wants to bite during a storm. that wall right there that's where the beach has been eroded from the waves coming by it's like a nice little two and a half foot draw for so ah! Woo, look at that surf oh blow ups on the outside another blow up out there I don't know what they are I might be able to hit that though I might be able to cast real far I'm gonna make a cast of that all right I just did one little lob cast just to make sure that there wasn't any tangles in my line See what kind of distance we have. Almost there. That was still a pretty sticky line, so the next cast will go even further. There's some sea turtle eggs that get eroded. The sand's eroded and it showed up a sea turtle nest that would have been buried, and now they're getting washed out. It's all part of the cycle. Yeah, Dave. I was looking for you. This is not working out very well. Saw some tarpon, lots of mullet, but the swells are just too big and it's keeping everything on the outside. I'm getting back towards the trail. Let's get to the truck and regroup. That is some higher than average water levels for our area. We got mold in the parking lot. We got the Sea Dew Fish Pro. Slide it out a little bit. There we go. We're off the concrete. We're just going to kind of go out today and see what we can find. All right, we made it out here and we got fish marking under us. No clue what they are, but we're just gonna throw a swim bait on. And let it sink a little ways and work it real slow. Look at that freaking wave. Oops, just got bumped. Oh, they're blowing up. Blowing up under the bird.
there they are. Oh, it's a shark. They're all over. Let's sight fish one. Big set coming through and we're hooked up. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got hooked up here. Oh, we got us a shark. That's no good. He thumped the jig. Had a whoopsie do with that tsunami swim shad on a shark. So now we got the mullet. The tidal baits mullet the, by Tsunami. We're gonna tie on one of these bad boys and see what we can find. Let's see, we're also looking out there. See some fish blowing up that way. Looks good, looks good, just like that. Turn out that tag and we'll be ready to roll. Oh, look at them up there. They're frenzying. Instant, as soon as it hit the water. As soon as it hit the water, fish on. Oh, this is awesome. After being inside for a couple days, we'll mess with these jacks for a little bit. Oh, they're just blowing up. I might have to put a top water on. Jack fish on the finger mullet by Tsunami. Tidal Pro mullet, I believe it's called. All right, get in here. That's him. Let's get that hook out. There you go. Oh, it's gonna be instant. As soon as it hits water. Oh, they're all over it. They're all over it. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Insta chew. Insta chew. All right, come on. Oh. Get up. Get up, get up, get up here. Osprey's diving, grabbing mullet. Jacks are grabbing mullet. We might have to go take a ride and look at the surf after this. He's doing circles right below the sea dew. Come on, buddy. Such an underrated fish for Florida. That's a bigger one. That's a nice one. One more loop. Let me try to get a hand on the leader.
Awesome. On a nice Florida GT. One of the things I love about the Sea Dew is how maneuverable it is. We got big waves coming through the jetty. And I can just scoot all around and get where I need to be relatively safely, compared to a boat at least. Very safe compared to a boat. We just whip it right around. And we got big waves funneling through here. That's not even a big one. They're coming over the jetty. Here you go. This one might hit it pretty hard. Nah, not even that bad. Let's do a cast here and see what we can find. Put something a little heavier on. Alright, we're going to get us a few mullet. There we go. Let's see if we can get us a couple mullet there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Dump them in the bucket. That's good enough. Get out of there. And that's that Juju cast net that I've been throwing for a little while now. Really digging it. Let's go dump these guys in here. Clean out the bucket. As soon as I dropped that bait down, it got thumped. I don't know what we got. Let's see. I took these live mold out that I just got. I didn't even get the camera on yet. Mmm. Oh man, that thing is pulling hard. There we go, there we go, turn. Oh, come on. Oh, bigger jacks. It's the day of the jacks. There he is, big old jack in the gunnel. Give me that hook back. Big old jack. Get out of here. Hooked up. What do we got, what do we got? Ooh, a little snook. Woo! It looks like a snooter. Little snooter. Little snook. Send him on his way. Let's see if we can get another one real quick. Go hooked up again. Stay tight, stay tight. Woo! Another little snook. Oh man, they're thumping these little mullet. Oh, that snook's got a remora on him. Come on, buddy. We want to get you in the water real quick. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. And even the remora goes free. There we go. Come on, stay up. Get up, get up, get up. <clears throat> All right, we're hooked up. Let's see, what do we got, what do we got? 
Oh man. A baby Goliath. Ugh. That's pretty cool. Look at that guy right there. Nice little Goliath grouper. Not what we're looking for. So we got our fin clipping. That's for genetic research. And he is 21 and a half inches. 21 and a half inches. We got that little fin clipping right there. And there he goes. What in the world? A sail cat, really. That's what it's gonna be now. Are you kidding me? I don't like sail cats. I'm scarred, figuratively and literally. There he goes. Sail cat gone. <clears throat> All right. All right, settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down. What do we got? We're hooked up. Lots of really fast tail shakes. Coming up. Oh, little snook. Another little snook to add to the list of little snooks for the day. Here we go, shook the hook out. All right, let's, scoot. let's do it again. All right, hooked up again. Oh, baby snook. Come on, give me a bigger one. That was instant over here. We got the sea all hooked back up. We pulled it all the way from back there. Look at them, they're taking advantage of this new terrain they can go through. These guys go on land and in the water. Oh, we found his hole. Looks like that's where his hole is. This guy's just chilling right here right now. What else is in here? Mullet. There we go, there's one right there, another land crab. We got another one over here. Another land crab. And we got a school mullet up here, mixed in with some tilapia. And don't think we forgot about our little DNA sample for the Goliath grouper research. Let's see, we got our thin clipping right here. One hand, very, very carefully. And then give it a little shake. There you go, it's in there. We're gonna put that cap on it and submit that to the scientists. Hey.